Act, which is a public hearing. This is for a movement of some uh, bond issues, and we'll have Wes go over real quick. If I can just uh, briefly explain, we went, we did this last week, um, but the state of Nevada requires that before the public hearing is open, which we will do in just a minute, um, that the notice of public hearing has to be published, and we have to have proof of publication. The paper that uh, local paper that we've been publishing that in in the past, uh, their uh, guidelines have changed internally and they're no longer in a position to provide us proof of publication sufficient for to meet the state's guidelines. Therefore, we had to republish that notice uh, of public hearing uh, in the RJ and uh, that uh, was published. We have complied with the required notice uh, uh, that's required by the state of Nevada, and therefore we can go ahead with the public hearing and then the, the item after that. Okay. And is there any comment from the public? Yes, sir. <coughs> yes. Can I? We, sure. we, you need to open the. I thought I did. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't? didn't. If you did, I didn't do that, so that's my bad. Okay, we will open this for a public, public hearing. Okay. Well, I thought he just said you couldn't hold the public hearing. No. No, that was last, the, the last week we were, last week. we're not able to do it because it hadn't been appropriate, appropriately agendized. It has been noticed, now the public hearing is going to we, go. We held the public meeting, we had the item. The problem was that the newspaper that we published in isn't, isn't sufficient to meet the NRA standards. I understand, I just saw you was talking about now and not last week. No, this last was an exact duplicate of two today. weeks ago. This, yeah, there's nothing changed, the same thing as we did two weeks ago. There's no public comments, so I guess we'll close the public hearing. And move on to item six, which is a <coughs> consideration to adopt the resolution authorizing minimum term and obligation. Wes, do you want to touch on this? Again, what we're doing is uh, looking to uh, refund or, in, in essence, refinance one of our bonds uh, to reduce the interest rate uh, that would re will result in uh, net interest savings uh, to the district over the next five years. Yeah. Okay. Can so you tell us how much that is? We're looking at, uh, and until we get the actual uh, bond, uh, know exactly what the interest rate is, we don't know for sure, but we're expecting the, the net savings to be about $155,000. Net present value of that would be around one hundred and fifteen to 117000 savings after all costs associated with the reissue. Thank you. Okay. All right, I'm looking for a motion on item six. I move that we uh, approve the resolution to refinance the bond, the, uh, the, the refine, refinance certain outstanding obligations for the Virgin Valley Water District in the amount of 8450000 I'll second that. have a motion and second. All those in favor, raise your right hand. All those opposed, no opposed. That motion carries. We move on to item seven for possible action consideration board contracts to uh, Virgin Valley Water District 214 Bunkerville Water System Improvement. Kevin. Okay. Uh, yesterday, well, uh, the board on February 18th uh, approved uh, shutting down the Bunkerville secondary system and authorized the uh, staff to move forward to obtain bids from contractors to uh, help residents uh, uh, build a connecting line from the, their existing culinary line to their uh, irrigation system on the property. Um, the, uh, we hired Forrester and Engineering to uh, do the engineering and come up with the estimated cost in doing that. Uh, they completed that work about uh, uh, two weeks ago. The engineer's estimate on that was $192,000. Uh, we uh, went out to bid uh, and opened bids up yesterday. Um, the low bidder on the project was $235,000, so roughly about uh, $45,000, $43,000 more than uh, the engineer's estimate. Um, after picking uh, my heart up off the ground and, and uh, going back and talking to the staff, um, uh, we uh, came up with uh, some recommendations that uh, we can't act on tonight and uh, therefore uh, re requesting a, a special board meeting to be held on Monday to be able to address those issues. But um, 
on this particular issue, uh, my recommendation uh, where, uh, and, and it's allowable within the instruction to bidders uh, that was part of the bid package, uh, is to re uh, ask the board to reject all bids that were received uh, based on uh, them being uh, significantly more than what uh, the uh, budgeted amount uh, uh, was and allow us to go forward and, and, and with some other options uh, that we can uh, talk about at special meeting, uh, board meeting on uh, as early as next Monday. So my recommendation to the board is to not uh, accept any of the bids um, at this meeting. So do you think we need to take action or can we just not we make a motion and die in line? We need to... I, yeah, my presence would be that there's a motion to to reject all the bids. Reject the bids, yeah. If that's the board's intention, we need public comment. Anybody here from the... Is there any public comment on this item? I'll make a motion. Back Monday. I'll make a motion, Mr. President, that we um, reject <coughs> all bids received on this. Okay. okay. And, and we direct staff to have a special meeting Monday at uh, what time? We kind of talked about We're around 9 a.m. Okay. If possible. And then we can act on it. Yes. Okay. I have a special meeting Monday at 9 a.m. to uh, come up with a solution to that problem. Okay, I have a motion second. and a second. All those in favor, raise your right hand. That motion carries. We'll move on to number 10, which is Mr. West. You have my. Uh, um report, I don't um, feel a need to address anything in particular on there unless you have a question about any of it. No. Did you find any couple million dollars from it? Uh, no. I'll continue to look though. Okay. Better luck next <laughs> <laughs> if you want to point out where you want me to look, I'll certain, certainly uh, take that guidance. Your other pocket. All right. Thank you, Mr. Bunker. Additional, I'll report on Well 31 progress. I uh, spoke with the Weber group today, and they came out yesterday and videoed the well. So it's, it's all out of the ground, the equipment. Um, and they're coming up to, to pick up the assembly. Thursday to take it back to their yard and be able to pull it apart and look at the integrity of the, the bearings and that'll dictate if we need to how much of the, the oil tubing and bearings we need to replace. That's where the vibration most likely, we're guessing, came from. And they videoed yesterday and review that more tomorrow morning. And then Monday, depending on how the video goes, it'll kind of depend how they clean the well, and we're, we're shooting for next money that they'll be out on site to clean the well. And, and at a later point, we'll find out more again on what they found out on, on the assembly and, and the integrity of, of the bushes and the berries. Um, on well two, finishing up with bones and columns on, on the bid documents. So we'll be going out to bid shortly for well two, be able to get the uh, screen repaired on that. Uh, we want to have the three holes in it. We're going to put a, a sleeve in to hold back any of the uh, gravel pack so we can start pumping that again. We have all the pumping equipment out in the backyard ready to, to go back in. Um, but that's on our wells. That's kind of where we're at. We're still waiting for the the boosters at the treatment plant 28 and 27. So they're they're down at the. Uh, Precision pump, the other ones will be rebuilding them all. And so hopefully, we'll be able to get plant 27 up and running in May. It's kind of the hope, and the others thereafter. Get all our uh, source sources back up and running before really hot times hit. That's kind of where we're at. If there's any additional questions for me, feel free. Okay, well, thank you, Aaron. Um, the only things I wanted to report on, uh, we're still in the process of reviewing the uh, engineering statements and qualifications. 
Uh, we should have that uh, review done uh, middle of next week and, and have uh, uh, recommendations to the board at our first meeting in April on, on uh, which consultants uh, to bring on board as a consultant pool. Um, uh, we're working with uh, our health insurance broker to uh, uh, try and figure out uh, uh, what the health insurance uh, plan will look like uh, in the upcoming year. Uh, we're trying to, to do our best to uh, have a plan that uh, uh, either is minimal cost to us compared to where we're at right now or hopefully have a slight reduction. Um, and we should have that. Uh, I think the first board meeting in May is kind of where we're shooting at uh, to have that information uh, to the board to uh, uh, help roll into the budget uh, process and also uh, to make uh, some decisions on. And then the uh, last thing, um, I'm working with uh, uh, Aaron uh, Baker from the city of Muskegee to, uh, we're, we're putting together uh, packages to submit to the Western Power Authority. Uh, to uh, try and tap into the uh, Hoover Dam uh, hydropower that's uh, going to be available in 2017. And based on the current, uh, based on current rates and what's going to be projected, we might be able to see upwards of a 20 to 25 percent uh, savings on our power costs if uh, if we're able to get the full allotment that we're we're, we're shooting for. So. But unfortunately, it's three years away yet before it's actually available. They're, they're starting their planning process. That's uh, all I've got. <coughs> we'll move on to uh, item 13, which is public comment. Do we have any public comment out there? Mr. Hurt. Uh, this is Bill Hurt. I'd just like to ask if, uh, is your power come? Do you have your own power system that, that would benefit from this, or does it come from OPD? We have uh, two power sources. Uh, we have Overton Power District for the Clark County, and then we have Lincoln County, uh, Lincoln County Power for our sources up in Lincoln County. So, so if you but we, we do not have our own uh, source of uh, power. So if you got this Hoover Dam power, then it, somehow, it, somehow it, would, it would reflect through one of these power companies? Yes, that's correct. Thank you. Uh, seeing no more, we'll move on to item 14, which is adjournment.